and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the books new angle well just angle um today this afternoon it's thursday afternoon and i'm gonna film something um which is a bit of a spin on the try a chapter tag but sort of something that i've invented in my own head on the drive home from work so um it is non-fiction november november is um a month where a lot of non-fiction is read because there is a non-fiction november read along um which i will link the uh the the channels of the wonderful people that run that down below um and i thought what i'd do is i'd have a bit of a non-fiction reading afternoon so in the the same way that when you do a try a chapter tag or try a short story tag you sort of read as previous <laughs> as explained by the title read the first chapter of um, that book and then decide which ones you're going to read I thought I would <clears throat> read a bit of non-fiction from five different books and just explain to you what the non-fiction's about and just I feel like this is just a way that um it could sort of like vocalize some thoughts on some non-fiction I'm reading or I'm planning on reading and also for you guys to get a feel of what the books are about so I've got three essay collections here and two memoirs two of the essay collections I've already started and I'll be reading an essay which is like not not the first essay so the first one is Rife 21 stories from Britain's youth this is edited by Nicholas Shukla and Sammy Jones um, and the essay that I will be reading in this is convey about socializing an expose on modern dating by Ellie Ford Elliott and um, so I will be reading that essay um, then I'm also reading uh, Constellations by Sinead Gleeson um, Reflections from Life and the essay that I will be reading in there is by Sinead Gleeson and that is A Wound Gives Off Its Own Light that's quite a long one actually then so those two that I'm th those are two essay collections that I'm always sort of like a little bit of the way through well Constellations I've almost finished it I think not quite as almost finished it but almost finished it then I'm going to read the first essay in Zadie Smith's Feel Free. This is a library book, so it's a shiny guy. Um, I have been getting this out from the library, not reading it, taking it back, getting it back out from the library. So it's definitely time that I read some of the essays in here. So I'm going to read the first, I'm going to read the foreword in the first essay. And the first essay is called Northwest London Blues. So those are the essay collections. And then I'm going to read um, the prologue and the first chapter, I think, of Me by Elton John. You know this guy, Elton John. I remember where I was young, etc. And then I'm also going to read the first. Now I haven't quite worked out what what of this I'm going to read, but this is Diary of a Lone Twin, a memoir by David Loftus, um, and this is set out in sort of dark as it suggests, diary essay, uh, diary entries. So um, I might just read the first day and see how I get on with that because that's basically one page. Can you and Minnie galloping around? Um, so that will be um, a slightly shorter one. And yeah, and just give you an idea of what, how I'm feeling about the books. I mean, as I said, I've read some of these already, but join me on my afternoon. Gonna have some lunch, gonna have a cup of tea, um, going to uh, maybe have a bath. I've got to wash my hair, so no bath, shower, dry my hair um so yeah join me on reading these books and we'll, we'll discover them together sunshine through my window um i'm going to start god the lighting in this is, video is going to be interesting um, i'm going to start with rife 21 stories from britain's youth um i've read quite a few essays in here so far i really enjoyed it i don't know if this light's working at all but i'm just going to go for it guys it's casual we're all enjoying it and then i'm going to eat my pasta um and then i'll repeat a report back to you um how i find it I feel like I look like um, the uh, Bohemian Rhapsody video. I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. Little cat on my lap, being cute, and being nice, molting loads, because you're gorgeous. And I love you. I love you. I've just finished reading. Oh God, I'm sat really awkwardly because Minnie's on my lap. Minnie, oh, she's very fickle. She grows very tired of you very quickly. Where shall I put you? Let me put you here. So, just finished the essay, Convey About Socialising from Rife, 21 Stories from Britain's Youth. Do you know what? I really, really enjoyed it. It was all about um, online dating, Tinder, um, sort of experiences that I have no experience in at all. <laughs> the light shining through the window. Um, I met my boyfriend David um, in real life in the pub. Uh, God, seven years ago now. Um, so it's been quite some time. So since those seven years, and I feel like online dating was. A, I, I did like a little bit of online dating before I met David. I went on one date of someone that I've met online, and within seconds I knew that we were not right for each other. Um, but nothing like 
Tinder or anything like that was out out and about at that point. So it was really interesting to sort of read um, the, um, Ellie's experiences with Tinder um, and also just to sort of hear about the, the behaviour um, that is now involved in dating um, that was sort of like semi, in, semi maybe present in d dating like ghosting for instance we didn't know what ghosting was but like that was definitely happening um but not to the level it is now um and she just uses some terms like that are to do with modern dating um that i'd heard but didn't really know full sort of um uh full full explanations of like negging for example and i just found it really interesting i really enjoyed the the essay um and it made me think thank god i haven't got to put myself for any of that dating because i'd be bloody useless um but yeah this whole essay collection i've really really enjoyed um they've got all sorts of um essays in here from things to do with sort of like body autonomy um uh women wearing the hijab um trying to buy a house in um modern day uh the the uk today um just really really interesting um ser series of essays very much have been enjoying it very much and um that essay that i've just read just highlighted how much i have been enjoying that so first essay done first bit of uh, non-fiction consumed along with my pasta um now i've got to think of a video that i want to put up on sunday and i think i'm going to film that um so a little bit of a break from reading and then maybe i'll have a cup of tea and read the next essay in constellations by which point hopefully this light will have sorted itself out hi um so i'm just finished editing my video to go up on sunday and i'm about to uh read the next um, essay in Constellations by Sinead Gleason. This book's very difficult to show because it's so beautifully white and gold and sparkly. Um, that essay is called A Wound Gives Off Its Own Light. Um, so each of these um, essays have a little constellation um, at the top and uh, yeah, I've been, it's just a beautifully put together work. I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, so I don't know where I'm gonna read this. I feel like I might, I'm a bit cold. Um, and even though I've got a roll neck on, I might um, get snuggled up with a blanket and a cup of tea on Nanny's chair and uh, and dive into this. I'm also still a bit hungry. That bowl of pasta did not do enough to fill me. Um, so I might have a look and see what else I've got. Oh, little cold nose. Mm, let's go read. Hi, yeah, I'm in bed now. <laughs> I'm in bed now um, because I'm freezing. And also because here gets a really, really nice light this time of the day and I don't always get to enjoy it because normally I'm at work. Um, but I've also got a um, slice of um, Marmite on toast and a spiced pear tea. However, I've got a bit of a cold, not a massive cold, but my sense of smell <laughs> has completely disappeared. Like these teas, I can smell like... If I really go deep on it, I could smell like something, but can't smell the, the Marmite. I knew I couldn't smell it because I put my Lush perfume on this morning, which is super strong and I couldn't smell anything. And also I've just pickled some carrots because I'm obsessed with pickling veg now. Um, and when I was doing it yesterday, I was like, God, this vinegar smells so strong. I couldn't smell it at all. Anyway, it's not called pickling afternoon. It's called nonfiction afternoon. So about to crack on with um, the next essay in Constellations uh, by Sinead Gleason, A Wound Gives Off Its Own Light. Let's do it. just finished um the next essay in constellations which was called and i've literally just said it a wound gives off its own light and um, this one i really found interesting as i have all of them um so in this essay Sinead gleason is reflecting on her own um body autonomy and um how familiar she's felt with other women who she's read about um who have also been through um extreme um sort of medical procedures so frida kahlo is one of the people she talks about um joe spence who um had breast cancer and lucy greeley who was a woman who had a um a rare type of facial cancer um and yeah, it's just, I mean, I'm very fortunate. I've lived a very, um, uh, I've lived a life with little to no um, medical intervention and just reading this and what it must be like to have someone sort of own your body in a way whilst you're in hospital um, and whilst they're caring for you is just something I've not really had to think about. And um, yeah, I've just found it really interesting in that essay in particular with sort of relaying her cases and telling the stories of these other women um really interesting so yes really great really really good essay collection both of these so far um, and i'm having such a lovely time sat here that i'm going to move straight on to um zadie smith feel free so as i said i'm going to read the first essay of this um alongside the uh, the foreword um and and crack on with that and it's only a little short one it's 19 page oh no it's not it's even less than that it's 13 pages um so i'm gonna read that in bed 
just having a nice time. So, just read the first essay. <laughs> this tripod is <laughs> being held by my hand. The first essay in Zadie Smith's Feel Free. Now, the, uh, the foreword to this sort of um, explains where she was when she wrote these, etc. Um, and she's also added a, an, an addendum almost to it to say that um, she wrote these when Obama was in power and eventually they'll become sort of obsolete, these um, these um, essays, and to sort of do with them what you want, um, which I think is a really nice sort of sentiment. But the first essay is about um, libraries closing and local councils closing libraries because there's not enough money to fund them and how important they are to people and how there's rarely a place where you can just go and sit and not be expected to buy something. Um, and yeah, I found it really important. Our local library here um, has recently undergone a sort of restructuring and they've, they've closed, they've, they've lost a lot of staff. I remember talking to one of the women who worked in there and they've lost a lot of staff and, um, staff and they've had to um, open an hour later and close an hour earlier and they also close for an hour for lunch. Um, and like, that is annoying because it means I can't get there after work anymore. Um, it also means that um, they're like people who would go there for the whole day, get kicked out for an hour, uh, particularly like now when it's getting colder and things like that. Um, and yeah, it just sort of highlighted to me how important libraries are and like, what, what can we do? What can we do to keep them? Like, I wish there was a pot we could contribute to to keep these libraries. Um, but yeah, I found it very, very interesting. And um, with, with reference to the sort of note she gives at the beginning, like, do with these what you will, they might not be as relevant anymore. I'm gonna carry on reading them um, because I really like her writing style. I've loved her novels. Um, I feel like this is the first essay collection of hers I've read, but um, interesting. And yeah, so that that's what's going on. Um, so I've got to do a bit of tidying up now, um, and then I think I'll crack on with uh, me by Elton John. Not me, Elton John. The afternoon's run away with me a bit, really. My sister turned up and she stayed for a bit, and then um, sort of did a few chores, edited some videos, etc., etc. Um, and now David's just gone home. And he's gone out to get fish and chips for him, chops for me, because we're having that for dinner. Because as I said, we've got a lot of telly to watch tonight, so that'll be nice just to sit in front of the telly and eat chips. So while he's just nipped out, I'm going to read um, day one, um, Jack, Monday the 1st of January, there goes my phone, um, of uh, Diary of a Lone Twin, which isn't quite the order I said. I said I was going to read the Elton John book, but I didn't. Um, but I'm going to read that when I'm drying my hair a bit later on. So hair back, let's crack on with very short um, first entry of Diary of a Lone Twin by David Loftus. That really was super quick. Um, so yeah, as I said, this is a memoir um, by David Loftus and um, he's writing about the loss of his twin and he starts at the, on the first entry um, on the 1st of January um, while he's in Marrakesh, um, which he calls a home away from home, um, saying that uh, last year was the 30th year of his brother John's death um, and he's been sort of surviving um, as, a, as a single twin um, since then and he's looking um, to the work uh, to the year thinking like this is how I'm going to document my grief and how um, how it is living without my twin now 30 years on um, and then he just quickly addresses in a paragraph how shaving has become a real hard task for him he doesn't he, do he doesn't go into details about how John died but he says that when John was in hospital um, he had shaved John uh, John's face uh, and the contours and blemishes of his face were so familiar to me akin to looking in the mirror and after that shaving myself became an impossible chore so yeah, so I think it's going to be really moving. Sounds like it's going to be beautifully, beautifully written. Um, he, David Loftus is a photographer, primarily a food photographer. That's how I knew him. He, he does a lot of Jamie Oliver's food photography. Um, so I feel like if he's got an eye for photography, he will most certainly have an eye for, for beautiful language. Um, so yeah, so that's, uh, that's my first, uh, first entry of Diary of a Lone Twin. No, well, Minnie, I hope you don't mind, but I've got to read some of your book. Is that okay? I'm going to read some. Just while I dry my hair. Oh, don't be cross. I love you, Minnie. I love you forever. Say hi. <laughs> I checked it with Minnie, and in the end, she was okay if I read the prologue and the first chapter of this. However, that I feel like that's quite long. That's 32 pages. Um, so I'm going to crack on while I'm drying my hair. Because David and I, we've still got RuPaul to watch, and we wanted to watch um, last night's Taskmaster final. So... Oh God, that's tough to get through, wasn't it? Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna crack on and uh, read, 
read the prologue in the first chapter of Me by Elton John. Me. Yeah, I have got to finish off filming. So I read, I didn't read the whole section of Me by Elton John. I said I would because David and I had a lot of telly to watch and now it's 25 to 11. I've got to be up really early in the morning. So I've read the prologue and the first six pages of chapter one of Me by Elton John. Um, what I will say is that I'm not super familiar with Elton John's life. I've seen Rocket Man. Is it called Rocket Man? Yes. Sim Rocket Man, um, but there's a lot already. There's a lot of names that I'm not familiar with. Now, I think someone who is into their music and particularly into their music of that time, this book would be perfect for them. I'm going to persevere because I feel like it's written quite well already, um, and I'm interested to find out a little bit more to his life. So, yeah, that is the end of this video. I'm going to bed now. David, what are you doing? Folding up some jumpers. Yeah. David's folding up some jumpers. I hope you've enjoyed this sort of non fiction reading. Um, reading day yeah. <laughs> and i'll see you all again soon for another booktube video goodbye